Hello, my loves. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your bonus reading. So, guys, for those of you who don't know, every week um, I pull winners for a bonus reading. Um, so, on this particular video, um, you guys won for the... Uh, weekly reading for the 21st through the 27th cancer came in with i think 20 hold on let me just get it here uh 20,188 views so you guys won a bonus reading this week um so let's go ahead and get started guys i hope everybody is happy safe healthy and doing well um guys i have opened a channel for cancerians only cross watchers are welcome obviously um the link is in the description box below the name of the channel is cancer baby tarot um so if you'd like to go ahead and join the cancer baby family um the link is in the description box below make sure to like share comment subscribe click that notification bell so you know uh when those readings post okay so let's go ahead and get started Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Cancers today, please, Spirit? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers today, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, love messages, clarity, guidance, advice for my Cancers for June 2020, please, Holy Spirit. For June 2020, please, Spirit. All right, my loves, so if you're currently subscribed, welcome back, and if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every week. Oh, guys, give me one moment. I'm so sorry, my loves. Um, so where was I? So yes, if you're currently subscribed, I do choose uh, weekly winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, um, crystals, uh, dragon sense, uh, dragon blood incense, um, which is great for clearing negative energy. Uh, I give away NIV version um, study Bibles. They're the super large print. They're great for Bible study. I feel like Mercury retrograde is hitting me really hard today. I cannot speak. It's like every time I open my mouth, it's like jibber jabber comes out. Um, so yeah, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. So you know when my readings post on this channel and you know, um, when the winners are announced. Okay. Um, to enter the giveaway, it's super simple. The instructions are in the description box below. And if you would like to request me for a personal reading, um, that my email is in the description box below, just look under request a reading. Okay. Um, all right, my love. So let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message. So guys, I felt like that the message that I got in the pre-shuffle was more of a warning than anything else. Okay. I feel like you're going to have someone come in. Now this could be friend. It could be romantic, whatever it is. Um, I feel like it's somebody that definitely hurt you in the past because this person is coming in, um, wanting to apologize, wanting to even out the scales. Um, you know, they're, they're coming in with a lot of love apologies saying all the right things you know um but i feel like this person has a plan this person is definitely up to something they're trying to come into your life to get something that they want and then dip out again okay um could be money could be I, I don't know what it is that they want you know what i'm saying um i did feel for many of you it could be money um but they want something and then they're going to disappear again. So it, it's definitely something to be careful with. We are in Mercury retrograde. Yeah, we got the nine of swords here. So this could be a representation of, um, I don't know, I kind of get this energy that maybe you might be doing better than this person and it bothers them. They may be having like a lot of regret. A lot of you know they can't sleep at night like it just doesn't sit well with them um, or cancer this could be your energy where you're having a lot of anxiety maybe your intuition is, is popping off about this person um, I do feel like this could be you know I, I feel like I feel like for many of you, you might reconcile with this person and be really excited and happy thinking that it might take off and that this person actually wants to do right by you. And then they're going to betray you. So please take this as a warning. 
Um, I mean, and I really don't say that very often where like, you know, my readings are like, oh, beware. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get a good feeling though, Cancer. I'm not going to lie. Um, and we know how reconciliations work with uh, Mercury retrograde. A lot of times when you reconcile during Mercury retrograde, um, you end up like closing cycles. Like it, it, something really happens for you to move on from that situation. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Cancers? So we have retreat. I feel like that's your one, like... <laughs> Don't accept the offer. I don't know. I feel like plain, plain as day. Um, yeah, we have Archangel Michael under the deck. And I feel like, um, you know, you know, for those of you who aren't Christian, Archangel Michael is one of the angels that defends. You know, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, they're the highest uh, angels when it comes into protecting you. Okay. Archangel Michael would be the angel that you would call for protection. And I feel like this is, you know, and I'm not one to really base my, I mean, I'm Christian, but I know that, you know, I have a wide uh, subscriber base. So I try not to like push too much of that stuff in, but uh, I feel like truly this is, you know, a message from your, your angels, from Archangel Michael, because this is, uh, it's like a strong warning energy, you know, it's a strong, like, you know, bells going off. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like cancer, don't do it. Spirit, what messages do we have here? Religious factors. Again, your angels. I mean, this is like a higher divine power that is trying to um, I feel strongly warn you about something. I'm not going to lie. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers, please, Spirit? Now, guys, keep in mind, first chakra. This is about stability. Stabilize yourself. Try not to be like swept off your feet type of situation, okay? Um, we've got second chakra under the deck. This person may come in very passionate. Um, you know, the low, you know, they may come in with... Um, how can I put it? Uh, trying to reel you in with passion, with, you know, the second chakra is a, for me, it's more of a, it can be used as a negative thing. You know what I'm saying? People that are trying to, to, um, bait you with sex or bait you with fear or and stuff like that you know what i'm saying it's ba it's it's a chakra that's based very much off of passion fear impulsiveness type of thing you know um so I feel that, you know, spirit is telling you to kind of stabilize yourself before making any decisions, like, you know, think before you make a decision here, like pull back, retreat. It's kind of like a hermit energy here, you know? Yeah. Dark thoughts, dark thoughts. Um, yeah, someone, I, I got to be honest, I just don't feel like somebody is coming in with positive intentions. I really just don't feel like this person has good intentions. Like this person may coming may be coming in appearing uh, stable. Okay, this person um, may come in appearing stable, but I don't feel that they are. They're coming in with bad intentions. Um, adjustments are required. Adjustments are required. So I feel that. How can I put this? With adjustments are required. I feel like if this person comes back into your life. They're coming in to say, listen, I love you. You know, I want to be with you, but you know, I'm getting kicked out of my apartment and I need a place to stay or I love you and you know, I need you, but I just lost my job. So, you know, I'm out of work for a little bit. So, you know, like, I don't know, it's something along those lines, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to require some form of sacrifice on your part to like be with this person. Like they're coming back because they need something from you. And they know that maybe you're doing better than them. Yes, he's sacrifice, you know. Um, so sacrifice is, is also can be considered the, the hanged man. Um, and I feel like that's an energy of it, like you, you would have to still be with this person and wait for your happiness. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you would be reconciling with this person, still going back to that energy of giving to them and still not really getting what you want. Okay. Um, you know, with the moon under the deck, we've got shadow here. It's like the moon card. Um, I kind of get this energy of, you know, it's an illusion. Like they they have two different faces here. Like this person is up to something. I can't stress it enough that I feel like this person is up to something. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers? Perception. Okay. So perception is an interesting card because spirit is telling you this person 
is going to come in. And like I said, with that moon card and illusion, they're going to come in, they're going to say something. And it's all about how you take what they're saying, okay? So you can take what they're saying and you can hear what you want to hear or you can hear what they're actually telling you, okay? So Spirit is telling you to really like listen, you know what I'm saying? Listen. Um, so let's see what we have here for the tarot. So we have the lover's card, Gemini energy. So the lover's card can be a beautiful card. It can talk about soulmates, counterparts, uh, a very deep love, you know, um, but it could also talk about temptation. It could also talk about needing to make a decision, distraction. Um, and here we have the king of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So I get the sense that somebody is coming in um, with a plan, you know, the King of Swords has a plan. They're very strategic. Okay. Um, and I feel like they're coming in to cause maybe some type of distraction or they're trying to come in with this, you know, lovers type of energy here. We have the tower, Aries, Scorpionic energy. This person is going to pop up out of nowhere. Like you're not expecting this to happen with the world card. Um, I feel that this is a cycle that you thought had already closed out in your life. Um, but this person may be coming in saying, listen, can we leave the past in the past and maybe start over? Okay, we've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and we have the Four of Swords. Um, so I kind of feel here, guys, that for some of you, because the Lover's card can talk about needing to make a decision between two people. For some of you, you may be in a relationship already that's st solid, stable, committed, possibly with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, with that Four of Swords. I feel like you're in peace. You're in a relationship that's very healing. It's very relaxing. You're, you know, it's, it's just like you're relaxed. You see here, like you go to bed at night, you sit in that bed, you're just there's not drama happening right now. Like you're okay in your relationship. And now we have this person coming in like a wrecking ball, you know, trying to, um, yeah, we've got the five of swords and the hierophant Taurus energy. I feel like you see here how there's two men fighting. Okay. Um, and guys, gender doesn't matter. Okay. Gender doesn't matter, but I feel like you have somebody coming in here wanting to play mind games to get you to give up or, you know, push you away from this uh, commitment that you're currently in. So we have someone here that's got a plan, um, and I feel like what they're trying to do is they're trying to remove you from any relationship that you might currently be in because they have a plan, okay? Now let's see here. So we have the Fool, Aries Energy, and we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. So these two cards together represent somebody that's coming in possibly with an apology, a lot of romance, a lot of love, a lot of sweet talking, but guys, the fool does not pull up with a moving truck. Okay. He's got a knapsack generally. Okay. It's just a backpack. Um, the fool is, you know, here one minute gone the next, right? So that's what I'm saying. This person, I don't feel, uh, this King of Swords, I'm feeling, is not really coming in with the best intentions. They're not coming in with the intention to stay. So here we have the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands. So this is an ex or somebody from your past coming in with this really cocky behavior, wanting victory, thinking that they can win you back, okay? Um, with the Death card here, Scorpionic Energy and the Seven of Wands, this person is trying to bulldoze their way into your life um, and they're trying to cause change. They're trying to tell you or get through to you to tell you, no, I've changed. I'm not the way I was before. This person is trying to cause massive destruction in your life and change. We've got the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy, and the Star Aquarian energy. So you have to understand the Queen of Wands is an energy of wanting attention, wanting to win. The Queen of Wands um, is very vibrant, very... Um, how do I want to put it? Competitive. Okay. Very competitive. When the queen of wands sets her eyes on something, she wants to win. Okay. And with that star card, I feel like right now you are what she wants. And, and guys, gender doesn't matter here. Okay. I feel like honestly, it's this, um, you know, you might be coming here in here as the queen of wands, looking very confident, looking very sexy, looking very, I mean, you may be doing very well in life. Many, many of you maybe might be, um, you know, public figures. Maybe you have a YouTube channel or maybe like on Facebook, 
or Instagram, you're posting really hot selfies. You know what I'm saying? Because what I'm seeing here is we've got two masculine energies and one feminine. Okay. Um, now, guys, that doesn't mean that it's got to be one girl, two men, two men. It could be to, you know, it, take it as it resonates. Okay. It, it, gender doesn't matter. We're reading energy, but I'm feeling that we've got, you know, two, pe three people on the board, plain as day, queen of wands, the king of pentacles and the king of swords. Okay. So what I'm feeling here is we've got one relationship that seems to be steady, relaxing, going smoothly. And then we have this King of Swords, which I honestly feel is the X that's coming in. Could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy to, to wreak some havoc here. And they have their eyes set on you and you are what they want right now. So let's see. Oh boy. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers, please? Cancer school. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What, what, what am I saying? Oh my gosh. Mercury retrograde is just too much today. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Cancers? Please tell me about this lover's card. The Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So that Knight of Wands is an energy, obviously, of seeing something that you want and pursuing that passion, okay, with everything that you have. So someone's coming after you here, Cancer, King of Swords and the Ten of Cups. This person is coming in telling you, oh, I want, you know, Ten of Cups, I want to give you all Ten of My Cups. I love you. I want to have a family with you. You may have, uh, you know, you may have been married to this person or been living with this person or maybe you were supposed to marry this person. It was, you know, someone that you had planned to have a family with them feeling and now they're coming in like hey you know i want that old thing back you know tell me about the tower the nine of swords so here we have the nine of swords here and here so i feel like this person coming in is really going to disrupt your peace okay because you're in peace right now cancer tell me about the world we've got the seven of cups it's going to bring a lot of confusion because you're like i thought that this was like way over like i don't even know why you're here tell me about the king of pentacles the two of swords so yeah i, I feel like you have to choose between two people here um or it could be an energy of this king of swords wanting to cut out this king of pentacles tell me about the four of swords the four of swords again here you're in a bubble bath here you're in bed you're just totally relaxed with this king of pentacles here you have a very peaceful life right now things are going good for you and this person wants to come in and wreak havoc tell me about the five of swords we have the three of pentacles so this person is coming in to cause a third party situation and they're going to fight dirty. See, there's literally two men fighting in this picture. Someone here is literally trying to beat the competition and they're, the five of swords talks about winning at all costs. So there's nothing this person won't do to try to get you to separate from this king of pentacles. Tell me about this five of swords. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Yeah, this person, um, we've got the Hierophant here twice. This person wants a commitment with you. The Nine of Wands. Or maybe this person is trying to block your current commitment with this King of Pentacles. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. I feel like this person may see that you're in a commitment, that you're happy, that it seems stable, that everything is good. And when they find out this news with the Ace of Swords, this ex wants to come in and screw that up for you. Tell me about this Fool card. We've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So we have, you know, again, that King of Wands is, is he wants to win. Okay. Um, I feel like this King of Wands wants to win this Queen of Wands. We do have a true pair on the board. Um, like I said, you could be, this could be the mother of your child, the father of your child. You could have been married to this person before, but I feel like this King of Wands wants a relationship with this Queen of Wands. And I do feel like you're coming in, um, as the queen of wands here um but the king of wands is very confident very cocky very secure in knowing that they could just you know skip right in and get you back with the knight of cups and the two of wands i feel like you may be at a distance from this person maybe geographically um it could have been a long time since you've spoken to this person or it could be an energy of this person is trying to court you romance you woo you into making a decision tell me about the six of cups we've got the nine of pentacles Pentacles, Virgo energy. Yeah, I feel like this X sees you doing very well. Because Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, you may be doing well financially. You maybe you started working out. Um, I don't know. You've got something going for you. Okay. And they want in. They want victory here. Tell me about that Six of Wands. 
temperance, <laughs> excuse me, temperance, Sagittarian energy. Tell me about this death card, please. The two of pentacles, okay? Um, I feel like maybe in the past this person juggled you a lot um, or just wasn't ready to commit, but I feel like they're coming and telling you that they've changed. Uh, the death card, the devil, Capricorn energy. Um, I feel like this person is telling you that they've changed and spirit is telling you do not believe this with that devil card, okay? This person has like an altered personality that is very, very toxic, okay? This person could be addicted to drugs. They could be addicted to drinking. They could have sexual addictions. Um, this person may be in a whole nother relationship, guys. They may be juggling, uh, juggling you with somebody else. Tell me about the seven of wands. The moon, Cancer, Piscean energy. Yeah, I feel like this person. Um, yeah, they're they're not coming in. It's like that that's that energy of illusion that I was telling you about. They're trying to bulldoze their way in, but at the same time, they're not being honest. There's things that you don't know here. Tell me about this moon. We've got the nine of cups. See, that's that smug energy. Somebody is coming in to get something. They need something. They want something. They're coming in for their own wish fulfillment. Is what I'm feeling. Tell me about this queen of wands. The Eight of Cups. See, you've emotionally disconnected from this already. You don't have feelings for this person. With the Star card here and the Ace of Cups, this person has hope and faith, though, that they can get you back, okay? And under the deck, Six of Cups, it's definitely an X coming back here. This person has faith that they can win you back. Um, the challenge here, we've got the Strength card, uh, Leo Energy, and the Knight of Wands. Leo Sagittarius energy. Um, I feel like this person is going to come on very strong. They're going to come on very strong. This person is not uh, about to tame any type of emotion. Like they're going to have no shame. Like this is someone that's going to be texting you at 11 o'clock at night where you, when you're in bed with your person just to cause problems. Like they have no holds barred. This person is going to do everything they can to try to uh, get this king of pentacles to go away. We've got the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person is going to push you till you can't take it anymore, okay? They're going to really push you until th this person does not plan on giving up. I'm telling you right now. This person is going to fight to get back with you until you absolutely, like, until they, they, they bring you from a Nine of Pentacles to a Ten of Wands to where, like, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't do this anymore. You know what I'm saying? They're going to beat you down until they get what they want. Um, and it's sad because look at you. You're over here in this beautiful Four of Swords energy where you're just peaceful, relaxed, chilling, you know, maybe possibly in a relationship. So, guys, you could be in a relationship right now where you're happy or this could just be your energy where right now you're very peaceful, you're stable, you're doing good, um, you know, and you're relaxed and you're in peace. And this person is bringing you from that energy all the way to a ten of wands where it's like you just can't take it anymore. Okay, like they're just beating you down until you can't take it anymore. All right, so let's take it into an extended. Um, let's see what we have going on here. Um, let's see, for those of you who are in a relationship, let's see what the outcome is going to be between you and this King of Pentacles. Let's see what the outcome is going to be between you and this ex. Um, you know, and let's kind of do something here, like should you reconcile with this person or should you move on? Okay, what are their intentions? All right, the link will be in the description box below for the extended and it will be in the comment section. Okay, I love you guys. Be safe. Bye.